beautiful people. I am going to be making some fruit chutney for my pancakes. So right now I have about a tablespoon of butter, vegan butter, um, melted. And I'm just gonna slice up some strawberries here. I usually do this with frozen uh, fruit because it already has a sweetness to it that I like, but I don't have any of the frozen fruit that I want this morning. So I'm just gonna do these fresh strawberries and blueberries that I have here. So I'm gonna do about um, six medium to large size strawberries. And I'm gonna put about a half a cup of blueberries in here as well. I like to do this uh, to get my fruit intake in and to just give my my pancakes or waffles an extra kick. You can do this with any fruit you like, to be honest. Um, and you can do it year round, especially if you buy the frozen fruit. So I have my heat on about medium heat. I'm gonna turn it up a little higher so it can come to a boil. Going to go ahead and add in my half a cup of blueberries. Now, again, I don't like much sugar, but you can do this to your own taste and add sugar if you like. But uh, I'm not adding any today. I'm just going to add just a, a dash of some cinnamon. Literally one dash and maybe a half a teaspoon of some vanilla, maybe less than that, just for the taste of it. So like a little sprinkle or two. Now what I'm gonna do is add about one fourth cup of water and let that come to a boil. And after it comes to a boil, I'm gonna turn it down and let it just start to thicken. So now it has come to a good boil and what I like to do is go ahead and kind of smash or mash up the fruit a little bit, especially the blueberries. which you can do before they actually start to boil in, before you put the water on so that you can get a better grip on them. texture that it has there now they're not too large and clumpy they're starting to cook down and boil down a good bit so I'm just going to let that continue to boil for about four five more minutes until it gets uh, think it thickened up a bit and after that I'm going to just let it sit and cool for just a tad and it'll be ready to go on my pancake so our chutney is completely done here. It's nice and thickened up. I'm just gonna take a bit, spoon it out. And that's it. Thanks for watching.